Well, welcome back, and this will be a great session. We're going to be starting uh, by hearing from uh, Fiona Goodwin, the Deputy CEO at UE EAUC, the Alliance for Sustainability Leadership in Education. And Fiona, you've had over 20 years of experience working in sustainability in the education sector, and you're leading key initiatives, including the Race to Zero for universities and colleges, uh, the Green Gown Awards, the SDG Accord, the Carbon Coalition, and the Sustainability Leadership Scorecard. So, Fiona, uh, you've obviously got a really big agenda, and this is an opportunity for, he for us here to hear from you about Race to Zero and these other really important initiatives that you're leading. So if I can hand over to you, Fiona. Thank you so much, John, and thank you so much for having me at your conference, and I hope you had a good lunch. Um, yes, so EAUC is the Secretariat for the Race to Zero, which is a campaign for universities and colleges on a global level to achieve net zero. It is a partnership approach between the UN Environment and the EAUC and Second Nature, and I know Tim's coming up in your next uh, plenary as well. The Race to Zero for Universities and Colleges is a official Race to Zero partner, which is run by the UNFCCC. So what is it? It's a global campaign to rally leadership and support from businesses, cities, regions, investors, and crucially, universities and colleges. These are known as non-state actors. And this is for a healthy, resilient, zero carbon recovery that prevents future threats, creates decent jobs, and unlocks inclusive, sustainable growth. All of the members of the Race to Zero are committed to the same overarching goal, to achieve net zero emissions by 2050 at the very latest. So how it works is that there are five Ps. I'll go through them quickly. So at the first one, you have to pledge, and this is at the head of the organisation level to reach net zero. Uh, you have to set an interim target by 2030 and um, have a, a minute maximum effort to have a 50% global reduction by 2030. So once you've pledged, you then have 12 months uh, to develop your plan in terms of having interim and longer term actions on how you're going to achieve that. Then you need to proceed, so you need to start taking action and start delivering against those targets. And then you need to publish, and this is a really crucial part, so you have to really uh, report publicly. Uh, so this is real for transparency, both for staff, the students and the local community, on how you're working against those targets. And this is a new P that has been recently released, and it's called Persuade. And this is how institutions can influence and advocate policy at local and national levels. So that's across governments and across uh, regional governments um, and local committees. So it's a real illustration of how institutions um, can really have that. There's a handbook to help on this new chapter and there's an education chapter for that, and that includes case studies on how that occurs. And that can be in many guises. For example, the advisory board that set the criteria for the race to zero is predominantly made up from academics and scientists that sit within universities. So that's a real example of how we can persuade action. So that's the expert peer review group, uh, which, as I said, comprises scientific technical experts from all around the world. We also have a huge amount of help and support for signatories in their journey. We have many videos, case studies, resources, toolkits, and I know you've been talking about the UNSDSN new Net Zero on Campus um, handbook that came out earlier this year. So we have a huge amount of resources on there to help signatories. We also have the high level climate champions, which really support the education sector and really raise the profile that the education sector has. And that's through key critical events such as um, uh, New York Climate Week, COP28, the high level political forum on sustainable development, and many, many other international and global events. 
So I really urge everybody to join the over 1,188 leading universities and colleges all across the world to sign up today. And, and we will have, be having a high profile at COP28 when education is for the first time an agenda item at COP. Just a quick overview of some other international initiatives that we have, um, as this is a, an event that also focuses on the SDGs, is that another global initiative is called the SDG Accord, which has over 2,500 signatories. And this is really about embedding the SDGs across teaching, learning, research, and operations. We also have over 200 supporting organizations, and we have a whole wealth of resources and case studies covering all of the SDGs. And so we really encourage everyone from staff and students to sign up to the SDG Accord. We also have the Green Gown Awards, um, which are run internationally. And this year we had 93 finalists across 25 countries. We have another wealth of resources and case studies and videos from our finalists, from our highly commended and our winners. We have eight different categories focusing on all different aspects of sustainability, and they are open in January 2024. Both the International Green Gown Awards and the SDG Accord are both affiliated officially to the High Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development and the ceremony, the award ceremony takes place at that event. So we have high level UN support for all of these initiatives. And I look forward to receiving many questions and many more signups and applications for these initiatives. Thank you, John. Well, thanks, Fiona. That sounds great. I wonder if you could tell us, what do you see is the role of students in the race to zero? And how can students get involved in accelerating the programs that their universities are undertaking? Absolutely, students have a critical role. So I think firstly, there's a critical role in students in terms of putting pressure and showing how much that students really value actions against uh, towards the race to zero. So go and talk to your institution. If they're not yet a signatory, please persuade them to sign up and commit to being, a, being um, part of the Race to Zero program. And also, if they already are a signatory, go and find out how you can help. Uh, they'll have lots of initiatives on campus and lots of different initiatives that students can take part in. So really get to go and speak to your institution, go and get involved. You can really make a difference. Great. Well, thanks, Fiona. 